freezing rain also roads in Beaver County catching drivers off guard there. Before many people had time to hit the brakes, several cars careened off the roads and slammed into guardrails. Megan Schiller talked with a few stranded drivers patiently waiting for help. Several hours after the icy conditions were at their worst, there are still cars stranded on the side of the road. The car in the distance that's being loaded on a tow truck crashed sometime before six this morning. All alone on the side of the road, Dave Hommel said he's really lucky. I was driving and just all of a sudden I hit a patch of black ice and the car just immediately spun and I tried to do what I could, but it you know, went right into the guardrail and spun around several times. He's one of dozens left stranded with wrecked cars. The whole front end is damaged, the back end's damaged from hitting the guardrail, so it's probably a total car. Ice coated the Beaver Valley Expressway early Wednesday morning. Drivers stood behind guardrails or used their cars as barriers between them and the traffic. The car behind me, I saw him go around. That one up there, I'm not sure if he might have uh, spun out also. We counted a half dozen salt trucks throwing salt on exit ramps, hoping to melt the ice coating the roads, guardrails, and even cars. I was like, holy crap. Joe Laird said his car is an ice cube. I didn't expect that much ice to be on there. He scraped the necessary spots, wanting to give himself a little extra time to get to work. I just hit the windshield, the back one here, and the way front windshield. That's it. Left the car. It don't matter. And it's a sheet of ice even on the shoulder. I'm standing back behind the guardrail to show you just how much ice is sticking right now to this guardrail. The wintry mix has been coming down for several hours. Looks like tiny pellets here along the side of the road. Reporting in Beaver County, Megan Schiller, KDK News.